what's going on guys this is obb the diecast news guy and i can tell you what man i am full of fucking energy right now i mean i usually am on my diecast reviews but this one right here would you not believe i was able to find this and if you guys saw my all, all my social media posts i mean i posted this fucker all over on uh on on you on, on, on even on the youtube community page i am really excited to do this diecast review man because this is probably now going to be one of my holy grail die cast in my collection. I'm planning to review this car, take it out of the box, and then put this sucker back in because, heck, for $60 I paid this car on eBay. Some people are saying that's a fair price. Maybe I could have got it for a better deal. But regardless of not, I have this son of a bitch right here, and I cannot tell you what, guys. I am so excited to finally review a Red Bull die cast, guys. But more importantly, this is probably Brian Vickers' best year in, uh, in the NASCAR. Brian Vickers, 2009, Red Bull, Toyota Camry for uh, Team Red Bull or Red Bull Racing. Um, my goodness, guys. You guys know me. I love the 2009 boxes. This one right here is pretty damn cool, guys. I love the box design. But more importantly, guys, this is a freaking Red Bull diecast in mint freaking condition. The, the, the box, I can't even talk English right now. I almost said Mox. The box is in awesome condition so maybe it was worth the the, the money i paid uh, i'm just glad i didn't pay 83 dollars rick because that'd be kind of funny right there but dude i am so excited i'm kind of afraid to take this thing out of the box because of just how rare these red bull die casts are but hey OVB's finally got one and you know what guys we're going ahead and kick this thing off just like the red bull wings i wonder if you got wings like i do let's get off this die cast the official unboxing of the brian vickers 2009 red bull racing die cast Alrighty guys, we got this die cast out of the box and man, goodness gracious, I can see why these things are, you know, so valuable. Because look at this guys, we got the two different, I mean, look at this paint team guys, the Red Bull Racing die cast guys. Holy crap, I mean, probably the only good thing I have to say about a COT paint team because I, I mean, the, the, the iconic thing about this, I mean, first of all, everything about this car I love. I love the number fun. That is mean and aggressive. Love it. The 83 is probably my favorite. I mean, uh, compared to the 82 and the 84, the 83 is probably my favorite because that just looks cool. And then you got the, I think the thing that really stands out about this car is the two different colored rims. You got black in the front and the red in the rear to represent the Red Bull, which... Dude, in terms of creativity, I wish more paint schemes would do something like that, guys. I mean, could you imagine an, an actual throwback to someone doing this? I mean, I don't know. I think Red Bull would probably want to get some money out of that. And uh, they're more invested into Indy, uh, not IndyCar, um, F1. Goodness gracious, I wish they were in IndyCar. They were uh, with IRL, I think, back in the days, um, if I do remember correctly. But um, I don't remember who they drove for, but I don't know. Maybe some of the indie, indie car fanatics uh, could probably help me out on that one. Because <laughs> I have seen a Red Bull indie car before, but just don't know who the driver was. But um, goodness gracious, man. This is a beautiful die cast. And yeah, like I said in the introduction, guys, this was Brian Vickers' uh, probably best year in NASCAR. Because not only he was able to finally get Red Bull's first win, he made it into the chase, guys. He made it into the chase full time before he had his health concerns uh a year later in 2010 and then the rest was history with his downfall in 2011 i mean yeah uh as much as i love that silver scheme i mean we don't want to talk about the 2011 season because that's when the term bickernism uh came into play and that's when jimmy spencer uh yeah <laughs> really was at his prime with uh that term with with um with with uh with uh, with uh Goodness gracious, I missed the Speed Channel, guys. <laughs> but this thing is so freaking cool, man. The blue, the yellow. I mean, you, you want to talk about a cool... A, a cool... And more importantly, guys, this is another Energy Drink 164. I mean, dude. <laughs> the NOS cars are cool. The Monster Energy cars are cool. But Red Bull, man, these things are like, like the, the king of fucking pinnacles when it comes to diecast. I'm still waiting for a Rowdy Energy 164, man. That'd be pretty cool. But anyways, since I am talking about Energy Drink, yeah, go ahead and check out Rowdy Energy, which, by the way, I'm going to go and be that Joe Schmo and actually show off uh, some Rowdy Energy right here. This is actually a new flavor I just uh, picked up at Gander Outdoors. Uh, peach Mango, I must say, it definitely uh, lives up to uh, its flavor. So, little shout out sponsor right there since i am reviewing a nascar uh since i am reviewing you know a energy drink so <laughs> but click the link below so you guys can order some rowdy energy and more importantly i might do a product review on that stuff very soon but dude this is a really cool diecast guys i mean practically no flaws on this thing whatsoever and 
Another thing I like about the 2009 diecast, guys, look at that oversized 83. Man, I love that. Usually I wouldn't, uh, but I, in terms of this car, this looks pretty cool. I know people are saying, oh, Brian, you got to call that out. That's too oversized. But, dude, I'm just lucky I got a Robo car. Even this thing had, like, paint chips on it. I wouldn't even care. I, I just couldn't believe it took me this long to finally... What like I I I I've been a NASCAR diecast collector for quite a while, and it finally took me until 2021 to finally get a Red Bull diecast. So I guess uh, some good things can actually come <laughs> when it comes to collecting diecast. But we also got the Toyota logo, some more Red Bull, and we got the Puma logo. Uh, yeah, gotta love that Puma. Don't know what that sponsor is right there, but heck, I mean. Um, Hey, EA Sports and Mac Tools. Uh, do you, I, I, I like the placement of the contentions right there. So you can, uh, I don't know what this design is right here, but I think it's uh, part for, uh, I don't know, for uh, the team logo or something. But feel free to fill me in on what that is. But I, I always see this on this car. But, dude, th th this is just a cool scheme. And more importantly, guys, Brian Vickers won this race at a fuel mileage on the pole at Michigan. He started on the pole. I think what well, he actually got like what like five or six poles during the season, guys. And uh yeah, he still had his wrecks, uh more infamously known at the Daytona 500 when uh you know Dale Jr. got revenge. Uh everyone likes a good revenge tour, am I right? From what happened at the Tal Six Talladega race when they were teammates. Um well, well I mean well when teammates uh Brian Vickers and Jimmy Johnson both spun out. Um well, yeah, I, I remember. I, I, okay, I'm trying to remember this correctly. It was uh, Dale Jr. and Brian, Vick, uh, Brian, Brian Vickers and Jimmy Johnson were all raced for the lead. And, uh, yeah, Vickers took out Johnson and Jr. and he got the win. <laughs> so I was trying to re rephrase that right there. Um, yeah, that was, like, well, like two years before Jr. joined um, Hinder Motorsports. But, hey, I mean, part, part of my confusion, guys, I just I, I just can't stop looking at this, guys. Everything else I have in my head just has to go off to the side because this Red Bull car – Looks absolutely amazing. I would love to find a Tal 7 diecast, even though I know Tal 7 was a horrible year for Red Bull. Most of them didn't even qualify for some of the races. But um, in terms of, like, quality guys, those are the best because they have, like, the rubber tires and opening hoods. But for this COT, man, another thing I like about these 09 COT cars is just how glossy these things are. These things are just glossed so perfectly like a freaking wax floor, dude. I mean, these things are just... So beautiful, guys. There's no crinkles or anything like that. And the decal in it is... You can definitely tell there was a lot of care into this die cast. And really shows you guys. I mean, goodness gracious. I can, I mean, this is pre pretty much logic right here. If you guys end up finding a Red Bull die cast anywhere from any year... Um, maybe 2011 will probably be the next, it will be the next time I'll find another one. Cause I definitely want to find the Casey Kane and the Brian Baker's Red Bull cars. But if you guys, uh, have any more red, uh, any more places for me to check out, uh, to find any Red Bull die cast, feel free to let me know, because I can tell you what, man, I would love to collect all the rest of these. If you guys can help me out with that, that'd be really damn cool. But I just, uh, <laughs> In terms of $60, this is probably the most expensive 164 die cast I have spent. And let me tell you what, man, it was quite worth it. I got nothing to complain right here. So anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the die cast news guy. Thank you guys so much for watching and reviewing my wings right here. As There you go again with the lame-ass puns, Brian. You were doing so well with this die cast view. Then you got to go on with that damn pun. But hey, you know, heck, I might get wings after all. <laughs> you know what they say, Red Bull gives you wings. But let's get a wrap of the diecast view of the Brian Baker's 2009 Red Bull Toyota Camry for uh, Team Red Bull slash Red Bull Racing. Comment, like, subscribe, and this has been OBB. Catch you guys next time on hopefully another Red Bull diecast review or, hell, another diecast review.